Hi, everybody. Yaniv Uda here. And today we're going to talk about DMaestro's database source control. DMaestro's database source control helps you achieve GitOps for your database. It helps you collaborate and create short feedback loops between development team, cross team collaboration, and accelerate release speed while improving quality. DMaestro database source control helps you create a single source of truth for your database changes inside Git alongside with your application while automating code documentation. From efficiency and scale perspective, DMaestro helps you create better productivity by automating uh, discovery of all database changes by pushing them into Git, by helping you synchronize your teams and create a unified delivery platform. DMaestro helps you reduce workflow, workflow, minimize errors, and would essentially help you automate code creation, create branches, merge them back when needed, and help you deal with any conflicts created as a result. DMaestro source control plugs into DMaestro's larger offering, covering end-to-end -end platform to deal with database changes, uh, covering development as we focus on today with source control, covering security and operations to deal with CI, CD, compliance, policies, and automation. And with that, let's jump into the demo. In the, in the demo today, I'm going to show you how uh, teams could collaborate, how we could create a very efficient and productive uh, uh, development loop, and how everything would be automatically documented uh, with everything that we're doing. I'll start by creating some changes. I have two databases here representing two teams or two sandboxes working in parallel. And for this demo's sake, let's say that we'll introduce a couple of changes. Uh, one of them uh, would be uh, creation of a new table. Uh, let's call this uh, new column. And we'll save this as table three, good enough for the sake of this demo. So table three is created. Let's just refresh and see that it's there. Perfect. And we'll also introduce the change into a procedure. This procedure is now changed to the much better uh, uh, revision, uh, including a smiley. Done. As you've noticed, I didn't change anything in the way I introduce changes or do my development cycles. As a developer, this is very important for productivity and uh, for ease of implementation. Now, all I need to do in order to automate everything else is just jump into the Maestro, move into the commit page, review all the changes that were captured in the database. So in this case, uh, a procedure was changed. Yes, this is exactly the smiley I introduced. A table was, uh, was actually created. Yes, it says uh, added, perfect. I wanna include all of these changes. I'm going to uh, put in a, a commit here, uh, demo for uh, DB source control, perfect. And I'm going to commit. All of these changes can be done offline on my laptop, disconnected from the network. And whenever I want to introduce these changes and actually push them, I could connect to the relevant network, see and review all the changes that were introduced and push changes. All of these changes are now live in my uh, source control, in this case, uh, Git. So let's see uh, what's happened here. Uh, I have a change 32 seconds ago. Let's review what happened. So all of the changes are in uh, the source control. So let's look at the creation script. Uh, yes, this is exactly what I changed. Because we're using standard uh, uh, Git repository, this works with every um, type of, of Git. Of course, we can see the entire history, see revisions of uh, anything that happened. We can use Git to do any kind of query and history and, and, and investigate whatever we need, but the changes are always there in our Git, uh, alongside, of course, with our application changes. Now, uh, my team is actually not working alone. There's another team working maybe uh, on a parallel feature, or maybe another developer working on his own uh, sandbox. Uh, so till now, I was working through the eyes of uh, user one. I'm going to replace that point of view and jump into another perspective. This is user two. User two uh, is about to start developing a new feature, and he would like 
to pull the different changes that may have been submitted by others. By clicking uh, pull, you can see everything that was committed uh, from the other branch. So in this case, you can review the changes. Oh, there's a new table. Let's look at it. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I want this. Uh, there's a change in the procedure. Hmm, that's interesting. So uh, let's take this as well. And just to make this as easy as possible, all he needs to do in order to integrate these changes into his own local sandbox or own local copy of the database, he needs to click generate script. As the script is created, we can see obviously the changes that we created. So in order to merge them into the second user's database, we can see a create table that makes perfect sense as well as an alter for uh, the procedure we just changed. So all I need to do is uh, click apply script. And with that, with just a few clicks, we created changes, we automated uh, uh, documentation of these changes, we created synchronization scripts and merged them into another uh, uh, user's perspective. If we jump in the database, uh, I can take a look at the uh, uh, user two. So all the changes that I just created should be there. So here's the table three and let's just review and make sure that the changes are all there. So just expecting to see that new column, perfect. And let's review uh, the procedure I just uh, changed. So expecting to see the smiley. There it is. Everything is in users to perspective who can of course uh, commit his own changes uh, for everybody else to pull. All changes are also visible through the history perspective. So DMaster also shows me uh, the Git perspective of the repository. Uh, we could add uh, tags uh, to call different names to our uh, revisions. And essentially, uh, this enables us to help create uh, changes in between uh, different versions. So let's say I want to now, uh, once I finalize my changes, I want to create a version helping me build version three to version four. That's as easy as saying, I want to focus on a specific tag uh, from the remote uh, repo. I want to focus on version three. And I want to create the code to migrate this to version four. And as easy as that, I have the code to also create that migration. The code created here automatically can be easily pushed into the Maestro's DevOps platform and uh, be part of a CI CD workflow to make sure that it is released to the relevant uh, databases. Now, in order to complete this, let's say that we have a few more challenges. Our developer now, back to developer one, uh, needs to create some changes, but this is a new feature. This is not something that may be actually part of the final release. So we need to experiment. We need to make sure that we can create this in a safe environment. And to do so, I'm going to create a branch. DMSR is going to help us create that working branch, both in Git and in the database so we can create the changes, we can experiment, we can uh, uh, test our changes and then merge them back when needed. So in this case, I'm gonna create uh, a local branch. I'm gonna call this uh, feature A and I'm gonna align the database and actually create a new database. Let's call this uh, source control demo feature A. So DMSR is gonna provision a new database, align it with all the changes from our current uh, uh, database, and let me continue my work there. So all I need to do is switch. If we jump into our database perspective, a new database was created. This was automatically provisioned by the Maestro to help us work with our new branch. All we need to do is introduce the changes into this branch and then just remerge them by switching again to our main perspective. The US would create a code for us, help us merge it, and with that, complete an end-to-end -end process of uh, teams working together, synchronizing, creating uh, work branches, merging them together, and achieving high productivity with a very easy uh, to use solution. Jumping back into my presentation, 
and summarizing the value, Lean Master would help us increase productivity by minimizing the cost of rework, by minimizing the cost of development time, by freeing valuable uh, uh, time to just be more effective and to deal with code creation rather than documentation and uh, facilitating of that code to release. Lean Master helps us uh, achieve team collaboration with a unified repository, streamline database changes, and of course, as you've seen, very, very easy to use. Lean Master source control would help you automate, modernize, and fully govern your development process while making sure that you're compliance ready and set the foundations for your GitOps perspective. Please contact us at demaster.com for any additional details. Thank you.